Good morning, this is Tony Vanilla down at La Mesa RV. I wanted to touch base with you and thank you again for your time. Uh, Matt and I are working pretty hard right now to try to find more inventory, but as you've found, it's really hard to get exactly what you want right now. Now this isn't exactly what you wanted per se, but this had exactly what you asked for, uh, almost verbatim. So I did want to give you another look at this 27A Vision. It is a little bit longer than 27 foot true, obviously, um, but it is under 30 feet, which is a really nice length for California. It's right in line from what you expected. It does have the good auto leveling system, which has its advantages. And it does have really good pass-through storage, which will be, I think, an upgrade. Um, this is actually a coach that you're going to be able to grow into. As your little ones get bigger, they're going to take into this space. So you can see this pass through is all the way. I could physically go to the other side if I felt like it. And, you know, as your young, young, young kids become older kids, they may get into sports, they may get into golf, baseball, softball. Uh, they may get into all kinds of stuff that you may be traveling for. And having an RV with a lot of extra storage is not only good for the trips, but it's also good for just going someplace for the weekend if there, there's a, an event. So having all these extra rotocast bays, you know, seamless rotocast, really good quality, uh, hard plastic, you know, nice thick baggage doors. This thing's really built uh, to last the life of your RV loan. Integra actually comes with a baseline two-year warranty. This is like your toolbox. I really like that. They give you the little tool, the tool shed. And then more pass-through back here. Or not quite pass-through, I'm sorry. But another storage bay, and I have a big one. But yeah, that two-year warranty is pretty dynamite. Um, it is bumper to bumper, where almost everybody, including Winnebago, only does one. You can see a really easy to access here uh, for all your low point drains and all your water stuff. It's got a really easy system. Everything's really spelled out. So if you, you're on city fill, it has a setting. If you have a winterize it, it's all there for you. Um, you know. Really solid set. Your tank drains are here, really up high. There is a light, I forgot to turn it on, but your tank drains are high, so you can get to them very easily. You do have multiple slides on this unit. You have the big 5500 generator, because you got big beefy ACs on this. The other side of your path through with the other light. So that goes all the way through, which is really nice to have. You know, nice diesel style baggage doors this is your batteries they're on a tray so they're easy to service it comes right out you open it up you slide it out slide it back in so that's where your propane fill is again really easy to access stuff on the vision really easy to maintain really easy to keep in tip-top shape and just a cool little extra storage bay i can imagine there's something that would fit there it does have the side cameras uh, built into the mirrors so you don't have a blind spot and it does have the black backup camera has this nice rounded window so it rounds here which is really smart not all of them do but that allows you to have a little less blind spot from your a a pillars and everything is like a steel pillar in here it's all very well reinforced for safety um, you're pretty much driving around in a big roll cage So you can see the view is spectacular out of the front of these. And both chairs do turn around. Although you do have the dinette with the two front facing seats and the seat belts and this rad couch. And this is something I'm really struggling to find uh, is something with the couch and the dinette <laughs> under 30 feet to get you into all those state beaches and state parks. And this is a 27 foot floor plan, so this will get you into the 28 foot campgrounds as well. And like that 31L, that's gonna put you out of a lot of the state beach campgrounds that are 28 foot or under. So I mean, in terms of RVing, getting an A style with a little more storage because you have the basement and a little more utility with the floor space because you're not wasting the cab with just chairs, you have living space even in the cab of this thing you're getting a lot of motorhome without taking a lot of space 
And I just think that's important, and especially in California where length limits are so strict compared to the rest of the country. I'm trying to focus in there for you, but you get the idea. Really nice TV placement. This is a digital touch panel. You have Bluetooth. You can sync your phone and you can put your Apple device in there. You can put your Android device in there. It's about as modern as they get uh, for A styles. And then it does have the uh, equalizer system, battery boost, automatic shade that comes up and down. You can drive with it partially down if the sun's in your eyes. And uh, heated mirrors, which really important to have and often missing nowadays on motorhomes. It's kind of frustrating, the little things they'll leave out and hope you don't notice. Uh, Again, under 30 feet, and we have good kitchen space, relatively speaking. Um, you know, they could probably squeeze more kitchen in, but they squeezed the couch in that you wanted. So that's part of the compromises we're going to have to make to get you the right fit. They did give you this backspace. Room for the coffee pot, USB chargers plugged in. Stainless sink. So even though this is, you were talking about this being a little more entry level than some... This is still well above an ace. In my opinion, these are built better than Hurricanes, and I sell Hurricanes, but I really like this coach. Um, I even say information on Hurricane, I'll be honest, I think this is a better coach than Hurricane. That's just me. Like, you, you make your own opinion. You know, you have the Xantrex inverter, which is spectacular, and that's not very entry level. A lot of A's are missing that at this price point. Legitimately are. And that gives you a little freedom to go dry camping, run your televisions if you need to run them off the grid, you know. Two ACs. That's almost unheard of on a 30 foot RV. I mean, a lot of these only have one ACs, and that really can shorten your camping season in California if it's over 100 degrees. So, you know, the big door, the wood door, like you asked for, really big bedroom in here with all kinds of extra cabinets, the reading lights, the cross ventilation in the bedroom with the windows. So if you're down at Bodega Dunes, you can actually get a good breeze in the bedroom, and maybe not run those two ACs, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody wants to. Actual drawers that actually come out, instead of like little half drawers there. Nice deep closet with removable shelving. So you can actually get some clothes in here. And if that's not good enough, you have a better one still with your hanging rod. And that's really going to have to be your decision, because if we go get you a C-Class that's longer, you'll get in less camp space, and you'll still have less storage than this. And then a good-sized bathroom with a good shower. The shower itself uh, has a warranty, which I think is neat. Uh, easy to clean. They do have a specific instruction for it, but we're going to teach you how to do it. You just don't want to use a harsh corrosive chemical on these plastics. You want to keep this uh, a good moisture barrier. We're going to show you how, you know, obviously a fan in the bathroom, but also a window, which is really nice to have some ventilation in your bathroom to get the smells out. Because, you know, we all know sometimes the bathrooms have some smell. It does come with some starter chemical. But uh, I use the BioClean personally in my unit. And then just little things like, you know, little, little touches. A little extra cabinets, a lot of hidden, even the blower work for the heater right in the bathroom, so the bathroom's not all cold on you. Yeah. <laughs> AC in the bathroom as well. You've got the ducted AC all the way through. So you see the, the vents. You can also flood it out of here if you want to. But with the two ACs, it really makes a difference. And I think this is the other big thing. You know, it does have the big drop-down queen mattress, and then this is also a bed. So this is an RV you can really grow into as uh, the little ones get bigger. You know, you've already had to trade one in. Well, sell it in this case, not trade it in, but... You know, this might be a coach that you don't have to trade in in five, seven years. So even though this may be a little more... You know, also like just awesome little reading lights. The blue lights too, so if you want to read something but you don't want to bother your driver, you can have the, the more calm lighting. I just... the little touches, I think, are really smart that they did here. Um... But I know we're also on a budget, we have a family, so we're working hard to try to find you anything that would work in inventory. But we also want to get you camping, you know? We want to... 
we want to get this season together for you. I know you want to get going, so, um, yeah, I just kind of shot this on my cell phone. I didn't really make a script or anything, but you kept coming back to this unit, and, you know, if you talk about and you say that if we could get the monthly right or if this was within your budget, uh, I think you should give her a drive, and if it really isn't, we do have that intent down in San Diego. It doesn't have everything you want. But it's definitely a great deal for a new motor home. And we're working to try to find anything else that we could fit into your lifestyle needs. And that's been the big struggle, I think, is trying to find the right fit for you. Because you do have specific needs. And you have specific quality wants. But uh, something, something's going to come our way, hopefully. Or maybe something like this could work for you. Uh, please let us know. And uh, let me know if you have any more questions about the unit. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.